Assalamualaikum everyone, I'm back with tip number three on how you can balance your cortisol, which is your stress hormone. The topic we're going to be discussing today is how fasting can influence your stress levels. So fasting is a concept that's really popular these days. I'm sure many of you have heard of intermittent fasting, but I want to explain how there is not a one size fits all um, scenario in nutrition. So my, while many of you may achieve weight loss, uh, from intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting can actually disrupt your hormones, specifically your stress levels or stress hormone if you're a female. So fasting can actually increase your stress hormone because when we're in the fasting state, our body may release cortisol in attempt to balance our blood sugar. So if you're a female and you're fasting, you may experience fatigue, you may experience more cravings, you may experience more anxiousness, um, you can even experience irregular cycles. So if you are someone that's going through this and these are the symptoms you have, I would encourage you to take a different approach. And instead of fasting, please focus on balancing your blood sugar. Now, the first two videos I've posted specifically you know, discuss remedies on how we can balance our blood sugar because there is a connection between stabilizing blood sugar and balancing stress hormone levels. But just to provide a quick recap, I would like you to have a breakfast within 30 minutes of waking up rather than delaying breakfast for like two hours, three hours, which is what a lot of busy women, busy moms do. So, um, you know, that is one thing uh, in terms of self-care, how to prioritize, you know, your own health. Uh, but even more importantly is what you should be having in that breakfast, right? So what your meal should look like. And as I've explained in video number two, your main meal should consist of protein, healthy fats, slow releasing carbs, and fiber from non-starchy veggies. Video number two will explain the proportions in which you should have all these macronutrients. So please go and uh, look at that again if you haven't done so already. But those are the two main tips I can give you as an alternate to fasting um, that may be more beneficial for you in terms of balancing your blood sugar and then ultimately balancing your stress hormone as well. So I hope you find this video beneficial. If you've tried it and you felt a difference, please let me know in my comments or messages and I'll be waiting for your response.